Okay, we are now ready to start using the scanning frame. Now, with the scanning frame that you receive with your machine, you can scan in any type of drawing. So again, an image scan can be a picture or a drawing. It'll be scanned, and then you're going to trace that design. That's really important. A line design are typically coloring books where you'll scan it in and then you can fill in the areas. Handwriting is a great example of a line design. An illustration design that has to be a sharp drawing or picture with little to no background noise and only have one subject. So your minimum size is five millimeters or any two inches. So I have some examples here. These are from coloring books. So I've just cut out the pages, right? Those are great examples of line design. They can be scanned in. They will scan in very well. You do have to be careful. You can see the picture on the other side is ghosting through. You can see that there. So that's something you have to be careful about. I have found in digitizing, what I might have to do is put another piece of paper on top of this, use a black Sharpie and scan it, or trace it, sorry, trace over top of it, so you get a clean image. And we have another, we have a princess here, I'm not sure which one that is, but. So these ones will scan nicely. Here is an illustration, an example of an illustration. So the first one, you have the little animals in bed. This is a Christmas storybook that I have. Now you can see that the background is dark. We're going to scan this one and I'm going to show you an example of where this may not scan in appropriately. Here's another one. So when you look at whatever your media is that you want to scan in, you need to see if it's appropriate for scanning in. You may have to tweak the picture, i.e. I would actually photocopy this, cut out all the background noise, just to make this object bounce. Cute little guys down there. So that's an example of an illustration design. Now I have some pictures here. I love hummingbirds. And this is a female ruby throated. It's a beautiful picture, but the background is dark. It's not going to scan, especially their beak. It's not going to scan particularly well. Here's a picture of my puppy. So I have my white dog but a dark background. So that probably won't scan incredibly well. Here's a baby picture of my daughter. Yes, she knows I'm using these pictures. And here's one when she was three. Now this one scans not too bad. You can see a clear line between the background and her. So when you, you have to look at what you're trying to scan in. I've had students, they want to scan in emblems, but the, the emblem itself is on black and there's no definition. Sometimes you need to manipulate your media so that you can see it clearer. So we're going to start with the first one which is a line scan. So, let's take my magnets off my board. Brother provides so many different ways to bring images into this machine. So, just a quick recap. I can send it by my design snap. 
I can put it on a USB stick so I could, if I have a printer at home where I can scan in JPEGs, I can do that. If I have a picture on the internet that is available for digitizing, I can save that onto a USB key or I can scan this in. So I'm going to insert my frame. Now, one tip, try to keep your magnets on the edge. Okay. So to scan anything in, you're going to hit the leaf. So, illustration design again. Think of a storybook. That's a really good example of an illustration design. It's only going to scan it in, and then you're going to trace the background, or trace the object. An image scan, think of a picture. Line design, think of a coloring book. So I have the princess there. I'm going to do a line design. So it tells me to put it onto the scanning mat, which I have. I can scan it or I'm going to show later on where we can bring in files off the USB. So let's go ahead and scan. So it has now scanned in the coloring book page. I notice I have some lines in my scanner, so I may have to recalibrate my camera. Um, again, here we have the grade detection level. We may want to go down a bit on that. Now, here's an opportunity you want to take. It's called cropping. I would like to get my magnets out of the picture. There we go. Now I can hit OK. That scanned quite nicely. So if this was a, you know, your grandkids picture, your kids picture that they've colored, you can go ahead and set this now. Now you're going to see the shadow of the original image through here. Don't worry about that. What you have in your red is actually your scanned or your digitized scanned image. So go ahead. Next. There you go. Now remember I did a line scan so I'm only doing the lines. Here's the thickness, the satin stitch. Go ahead and set that out of my design center and now I'm into embroidery. So coloring book pages scan really, really nice when using the line design.